All right, so in this video, we're going to be looking at how to write a lab report. You are going to be assigned or have been assigned this uh, assignment where you're going to be talking about a lab that we are doing. And for the freshmen, the lab that we are going to be writing about is a plant lab in which we took some plants and we planted them. Well, this year I took the plants and planted them because this is the year that we are dealing with COVID. And so um, I took those plants and I planted them in some seed pellets or some uh, seed starter pellets. And some of the plants I used fertilizer with and some of them I didn't. And we're basically going to be testing out the idea which one is going to grow the most. Just a real simple kind of experiment. The purpose of this experiment is not to learn the fertilizer works more so than to teach you how to write a lab report. And so that's what we're going to be going over. So a lab report is a technical document. It is not a, um, it's not a creative work, creative writing exercise. And so that's, that's important. This isn't English. You're not being assigned an essay. I'm not asking you what you think. Um, there may be some places in the lab report for you to give your opinion on things, but in general, this lab report is you're giving me information that you have obtained or you're giving me information about the subject. And so I'm going to walk through what a lab report should be. This document that you will be provided with here. All right. So at the beginning of your lab report, you're going to have a title page. The title page should be simple. Um, I don't care how many spaces you have or what font or any of that stuff in general. The font, if I can't read it, I won't. I'm not going to um, suffer through having to read your cursive wingdings or anything like that. So if you choose to use a font like that, you're choosing for me not to grade your work. So uh, just in my opinion, don't even click the font button at all. The thing that is it's already set at works just fine. And so you're going to create a title page. You should put your title on there. It's just a relevant title. You can call it Plant Lab if you want to, or you can be creative if you are that type of person. This is one of the places you can be creating in this report. Put your name on the la on the title page so I know whose it is. Um, and then this is a page by itself. <clears throat> what do I mean by that? Well, when you um, are doing this, you should only, you should, at the end of your title page, you should go all the way down and start a new page for the next section. That's what that means. Next is the abstract. So after your title page, you're going to have a whole new page that only contains the abstract. That's why it says this is a page by itself. And so the abstract is basically a short paragraph, and you can read this, that summarizes the lab. I should be able to read your abstract in just a few seconds and that that in that time I know what the lab is about I know what you used to perform the lab I know the results that you obtained and I know that what you think about the conclusions and so for our lab that we're doing here you might say something like uh, talking about plants so plants um, you might say something like the plants that we used in this lab were mung bean plants, which is, which is exactly what we used, and we were testing to see whether or not fertilizer would cause them to grow faster. We used, uh, again, we used mung beans and st seed starter pellets and miracle Grow fertilizer, and the results that we got were that the seeds without fertilizer grew three centimeters and the ones with fertilizer grew six centimeters. And this is the conclusions that we got where this is exactly what we expected to happen or something along those lines. See how I've summarized the entire lab in just a short paragraph. And so that's the purpose there. I should be able to pick your lab report up and read the abstract and know exactly what I'm getting into before I do so. The purpose of a lab, an abstract in the broader scientific field is for that same purpose. Scientific papers can be 20 pages long plus, and rather than read through that whole paper, a very technical document, you can just read that one paragraph and decide whether or not that document is going to be helpful to you. So again, 
the abstract is its own page. Title page, one page, abstract, one page, third page of your document. You will begin the introduction, which is the main body of the work. All of four of these sections here are going to be in the next part. So basically, right after the introduction, you start this. Right after the, the materials and methods, you start the results. And then conclusion. It all kind of runs together. Introduction. You're going to give me an introduction of the topic. The topic is plants, plants growing, fertilizer, all the things that we're doing. Uh, you're not giving me, you're not telling me a step-by-step -step of the lab. That's for the materials and methods section. The purpose of the introduction is for you to tell me about the subject, to tell me about the lab, to tell me what your hypothesis is. Notice I have put that here, um, somewhere in here, your group, you formulate your group's hypothesis, explain what you think will occur. What questions do you, do you want answered? Well, we want to know whether or not fertilizer causes plants to grow. Um, notice here, this is, you know, if you're studying rates of diffusion, you need to explain how diffusion works, osmosis and permeable membranes. For you, this is what I want to hear in the plant lab. I want to hear how does fertilizer work? Why, why do we use fertilizer? What's the purpose of it? Um, and so that's your introduction. Introduction is going to be the longest portion of your paper because you're talking about so many things. Again, if you go through a step-by-step -step of what we did in the lab, that's wrong. It's not what you're doing in the introduction. That's what the materials and methods for. That's the next section. You're going to give me a list of materials. Um, I will provide this for you. Since we didn't do this lab in class, I did the lab for you. I will provide you a list of the materials and I will provide you with a procedure. And so really, you're just going to need to kind of copy down the things that I've given you for this section, put them in your lab report. There's This is easy. All right. It tells you what it is. All right. Results. People miss a lot of points in results because they don't follow directions. Notice there are three verbs here. And these verbs are imperative, meaning that you, they're asking you to do something. All right. Three things. You need to provide a table with your data. You can look at your lab report and ask yourself, is there a table here? If there's not, you have not done step A and you should do it. If you don't do step A, you will lose a sizable chunk. You should provide a graph that shows the data on your table. And then you should provide a short summary after your graph. In this graph, we're showing yada, yada, yada. It's going to be simple. I'm going to show you how to create a graph using Google Sheets so that your graph looks nice and neat. And then your conclusion. You're going to write a conclusion. You're going to reiterate the purpose of the lab. The purpose of this lab was to discover whether or not fertilizer caused plants to grow faster rate, whatever. Um, your, was your hypothesis supported? Our group didn't think fertilizer mattered. We were proved wrong by the experiment. Why do you think that happened? And then what might be a good follow-up to this lab? Well, we wanted to test how fertilizer affects different kinds of plants. I don't know. You tell me. This is something for you to kind of come up with your own thing. Conclusion doesn't have to be very long. It needs to be longer than a couple sentences. You just need to talk about what went on and some of your remarks concerning the lab. Again, I realize that you did not perform the lab. Write this section as if you did. The procedure of this lab is not very long. I literally put some plants in some of these little seed starters and poured water on them, and some of the plants got fertilizer, some of them didn't, and I'm now watching them grow. All right, and so that, there's, that's it. After your conclusions... You're going to go to the very next. You're going to go to the next page. Start a brand new page, and that's where you're going to put your sources. Uh, your sources will be like your classroom notes. Um, you could put me as a source. If you use a website, you should use that website as a source. Let me do a quick thing on plagiarism again. I'm going to hit on this all year because you are all tempted to do this, um, and we have plagiarism checkers that just show me outright that you've done it. So please don't. Don't succumb to this temptation. If you copy and paste from a website, I will give you a zero. Well, I put quotes around it. Nope. I don't want anybody's quotes. I want your quotes. 
if you copy and paste from a website, I'll give you a zero. Facts. So don't do it. I want your words, no one else's. There's no reason for you to go out and find someone else's words on this. All right. I want you to go read about fertilizer and then tell me what you learned. I don't want to read what someone else learned. I don't want to read what someone else wrote. If you want to tempt me on this, have at it. Um, if you get a zero because of plagiarism, there are no redos. I will give you a zero and that will be your grade. This will be a test grade, meaning that I'm going to count this as much as I would count a normal test. And it's going to be a big test grade. So this is your opportunity to do well on a test grade, especially for some of you who have struggled with tests. Look, this is, can I follow directions? Can I go through this document, how to write a lab report, follow these directions and do what I'm supposed to do? If you can, you'll receive a good grade. If you can't, if you don't turn it in on time, if you don't do it, if you plagiarize, it's a bad test grade. This is the kind of thing that if you, if you bomb, you, you won't be able to get a C in the class. So take your time. This should be an easy assignment. This should be a way to boost your grade in this class. So take your time with it. And if, of course, if you have questions at any time, I will be available for those.